How's it going, kiddos? Handsome Jack Boy here, bringing you guys the fifth episode of my Borderlands 2 Dust Waste Pearl Lesson Weapons Guide. And in this episode, I'm going to be covering the Apollo. The Apollo is a TDR shotgun, and the prefix for mine is Bulk Apollo. The prefix for you guys might change. Now, as with other custom weapons, uh, this thing, in order for it to be in the game, has to replace another gun. And in this case, the gun that it replaces is the Octo. Now, what the Apollo does uh, is it has a custom spread pattern that allows it to shoot in the shape of a triangle. Now, the, uh, the shape of the triangle changes as you fire it, instead of being random like its predecessor. So it basically goes in the following order, up, down, left, right. So it's really just a pattern within a pattern. Now what's really nice about the spread pattern that this weapon has is that all of the projectiles are tightly compacted to form uh, the said spread pattern. And it would basically allow for the projectiles to have an easier time hitting enemies even at longer ranges. Um, so it allows for longer range combat that you would not typically have with a standard shotgun. So obviously range and accuracy are two things that stand out. Now comparing this to the Borderlands 1 Apollo, which it originates from, I think the biggest difference between the two is that the Borderlands 1 Apollo is Atlas, while the Borderlands 2 Apollo is Teteor. Since Atlas is no longer a thing in Borderlands 2, uh, the next best option was to make it Teteor, and honestly I'd have to agree with this notion. It does kind of fit well as a Teteor weapon, especially with uh, the skin that the weapon has. Now, I think the other substantial difference uh, between the two is the fact that the pattern within the spread pattern is slightly different in that uh, with the Borderlands 1 Apollo, the direction in which the arrow that the bullets form is random, whilst on Borderlands 2, the direction goes in a specific order. So that's another thing, but ultimately it doesn't really affect all that much. So all in all, even with those differences in mind, uh, the Borderlands 2 Apollo feels well exactly as you would expect it to feel and feels like the Borderlands 1 Apollo just Borderlands 2-ified. So enough comparing both versions of the weapon strictly just talking about uh, the Borderlands 2 Apollo. Um, as far as damage is concerned um, and how well it holds up here, while the damage is not anything you know spectacular by any means, it does hold itself up pretty well and you know considering the accuracy and range that the weapon has makes the damage drop off less substantial than you know of course using your typical shotgun. So with the shotgun you don't have to worry about getting up close and personal all the time to deal good amounts of damage. You can stay back and shoot enemies from a distance and still deal a pretty considerable amount of damage. Um, which is really awesome. Obviously there is a range limit, you know, I wouldn't really recommend sniping enemies uh, at long ranges with this gun, but it's definitely something you can do if you so wish. So yeah, apart from that though guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'm out of here. Peace!